in Rocky Mount, where an 18-year-old died this morning after a shooting. A young woman is also in the hospital after her mother says she was shot in the mouth. Now, we're getting new details about what happened in the hours leading up to all of this. CBS 17's Michael Hyland is live in Rocky Mount. And, Michael, it's the second deadly shooting there this week. That's what has people so concerned. If you look over here, you can see the shattered glass from this car covering the driveway. Here in this house on Long Avenue, we counted at least 10 bullet holes here. I found out people came here to celebrate a birthday before the shooting. Hours later, you can see the mess left behind after a shooting early Friday morning in Rocky Mount. Ann Hill has lived nearby on Long Avenue all her life. Sit up in the chair and I'd be hearing gunshots. I'd be hearing gunshots. I'm going to tell you, this stuff, is, it really need to be stopped. Police say Daquan Dickens died after getting shot several times around one Friday morning. He was 18. A relative told me that a woman also got shot in the mouth and has had surgery at a hospital in Greenville. And I am getting tired of the killing. Police found out about this because of technology called Shot Spotter, which detects the sound of gunfire. It costs about $180,000 a year. Rocky Mount has used it for eight years. The sergeant who oversees it declined to go on camera. He said while he believes it's reduced response times, the city has never done a study to verify that. Ann Hill says she'd like to see police here more often. And they need police to, to keep checking this error. They need to be one down the end, one down the end, because somebody always getting killed. Friday's shooting happened just days after another deadly shooting at a gas station. So far, police say Rocky Mount has seen nine homicides this year. It's getting ridiculous. Y'all need, somebody need to do something about it. Police have not announced any arrests in either shooting. It's not clear what relationship there is between the young woman who was shot and the young man who died or what would have caused someone to start shooting here in the first place. Live in Rocky Mount, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News.